Hey nerds and welcome back to week 11 of Birdsong Lessons with me, Lucy Lapwing, massive nerd. Last week for week 10, we stepped outside of the garden bird gang and we met one of our very familiar spring visitors, the Chiff Chaff, little brown jobby with a two syllable song. This week we're climbing back into the garden, so get back over that fence and we're gonna meet one of our most familiar garden birds. It is the blue tit, the cousin of the great tit, gorgeous little thing, tiny bird, but I've always said if they were rarer, people would lose their minds over them because they're just stunning. Vivid sky blue, head and back. They've got a little white face. They've got a gorgeous sunshine yellow belly, a bit like this one. And uh, they've got this black stripe running through their eyes. So the way I remember it is blue tip bandit. It's like a little bandit mask. And they're really familiar garden birds. They're everywhere. They're very common. They can survive even in our city centres. And they're a very common visitor to any garden bird feeders you might have. Now, to learn the blue tit song, um, we're just going to take note of a couple of little features of that song. And I've also got um, one of two options that you can pick to uh, remember it. It should be really quite a simple one. Okay, so let's jump in and have a listen to the song of the blue tit. And that's it. Really quite easy and simple. Um, not a lot to write home about, but it's one that's quite distinct now. For me, I say it's distinct. It's one that I overlooked quite a lot when I was first learning bird song. Perhaps because it's so high pitched, perhaps because it's not so melodic or complex, and perhaps because it's just everywhere. It sounds a little bit more like a call than a song because it's short and sweet. But once you tune into it, you'll notice it. It's really easy to pick up. And like I said, it's coming from just about every tree that you walk past. Now, first of all, if we think about the quality of that song, the features of it, like I said, it's really high pitched. So it's a very, very high note of song. And you'd expect it from such a tiny little bird, quite honestly, wouldn't you? The second thing that it's very fast and chattery um, and it comes in like little short bursts. So it's that little phrase and it just kind of repeats it again and again, that really high pitched chattery song. Now I have one of two ways of remembering it. And for each one, you've just got to remember two words. So. Option one, you've got to remember the words tea, as in like a brew, cup of tea, and lily, as in like the lovely flower. So it sounds as though the blue tit is going tea, 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 lily, 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 tea, tea, lily, 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 lily. So if we just have a listen to that. So hopefully you can, uh, you can get what I mean by that. The second is to remember the exact same thing, but instead of tea and lily, we're remembering the words we and titty. So as in little, it's a little tiny member of the tit family. Just a little tit, very small little bird. So again, listen to that song and it goes wee wee wee, tee -dee -dee -dee. So hopefully you can see what I mean there. And one more thing to bear in mind is that they do mix up the number of T's and the number of lilies on the number of wee's and the number of titties. So um, sometimes it can just be tee tee and then it could be lee -lee 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 -lee, or it could be tee -lee 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 -lee. You can mix them up but it's a combination of teas and lilies or wees and titties, whatever you want. Pick one of the two options, maybe mix them up, maybe come up with some different words for remembering it, whatever you want. But those are just two little ways that I have of remembering the blue tit song. So like I said, it's nice and simple. They're feisty little birds, they'll often come right up in your grill and have a go and have a shout. Um, and they'll be singing quite close as well. You might hear their call, which they get really annoyed at if any kind of intruder or anyone on the patch, it sounds like this. But most of the time you'll just hear that song repeated. Hopefully now you can pick that out. That should be a nice, short, simple, sweet one to get. And if you've got a different way of remembering it, please, as always, let us know. It's good to learn from each other. And if you've got any questions about it, please also get in touch in the chat. Um, as always, if you found these lessons useful, please subscribe and you can join me again very soon for another birdsong lesson. See you soon.